we're gonna be making New York bagels topped with caramelized onions and sesame and poppy seeds. Let's go. Out of a delicious bagel, we made an amazing brunch. We dive into our bagel monster and we enjoy the delight. Mmm. So crunchy and so soft from the inside. Delicious and creamy. Trust me, it looks delicious and it does taste more delicious. Let's look at the ingredients of making New York bagels. This part, a pot with water, a spoon of brown sugar, five spoons of sesame seeds, sea salt, one spoon, one spoon of poppy seeds and one spoon of garlic powder. All of that we need for the later on stage. For now we have got half a kilogram of white fine flour and we need two thirds, that is 350 milliliter of water and 30 uh, grams of dried yeast, one spoon of salt. Into a clean bowl we put half of the yeast and then one third of the flour, all of our water. Off we go. After mixing and kneading well, we need to keep overnight on a kitchen counter. This is going to be our fermenting agent for the bagels. Leaving it overnight, the yeast has fermented the flour. We add the rest of the flour, dried yeast, the rest of the water, 150 milliliter. So we have added half a liter of water. The salt, our dough is ready. We shape into a long cylinder and we cut into eight equal sizes. We shape into a long spaghetti like that. Then we take the sides, we tuck them in together, we roll them and then our bagel is ready. In a closed oven I need to put them aside and let them puff up for about an hour or so. We're going to caramelize two onions. We cut into thin slices. We add a spoon of brown sugar and a drizzle of Greek olive oil and then we caramelize them. Into our water we add our brown sugar. Now this is going to be a coloring agent. You could put uh, syrup if you want. On a medium high we cover our pot and we let them caramelize slowly. Our onions are caramelized and perfect. We set aside and let them cool down. An hour and a half into letting the dough rise. Look at that wonderful shape. Get our bagels carefully into the water. Off we go. Half a minute only into that boiling water. We take our bagel and we dip it into our sesame mix like that. Into a preheated oven we need to bake upside down. Eight minutes into baking we need to flip the right side up. By doing so we have prevented the onions and the sesame to burn. Now we're going to put again in the oven and we're gonna bake at 180. 20 minutes into baking our bagels are ready we take out. We cut open our bagels. Now as you can see they're quite fluffy but thin. I have made half a kilogram and I have produced eight bagels. So plus minus each bagel is 60 grams of flour. Now by all means you could do it much fluffier, much bigger, but I want to keep my flour per serving to a minimum. We spread a layer of cream cheese, top it off with freshly cut cucumber and a few slices of tomatoes, a couple of slices of fresh lemon. Now, as you could imagine, I'm making a salad here into my bagel, then some fresh dill. Onto my second bagel, I'm gonna put my eggs, some black pepper and salt. Of course, you could make the bagel the traditional way with salmon and cream cheese. 